this is the place. Yeah, didn't remove her, just seen it. Yeah, you guessed it, it's a Toyota Supra. We've got it in today for a couple of small bends to the doors. I'm at the saddle front dent remover, and in a second, I'm gonna pull the car in and I'll show you the small dents. This car is absolutely mint. Well, apart from the dents, but it'll soon be even minter. First dent we're going to repair is right on top of the door. It's in one of those annoying places. Every time you go to your car, you're gonna see it. The next one is a bit lower down, not in a very obvious place, but just equally as annoying. And number three dent is on the opposite side door, at the front, at the bottom, always a tricky area to repair, so I'm gonna save this till last. Right then, we are almost here. As you can see in the last little clip, I was dropping my car off last night to get some dents taken out because somebody has been kind enough to open the door on my car or something along them lines. Um, Dent Remover Limited is doing it for me. You should be doing a video for it as well so you'll be able to see the process and everything that goes into doing all that sort of stuff. And hopefully you've got a good result. Just around this corner I believe. There's the van look. Can't see my car yet, so I think it's still inside. I did try and get some camera footage of the dents, but the camera couldn't quite pick it up, so I'll probably steal a few of his clips out of his video. But we're here now, so I'll park up, go inside and see him, and then we shall get away. Car all put back together. There's no dent there. You can't even see any sort of mark or any sort of outline or anything. And then on this side, there was one just about here somewhere. 
nothing. And there's one just in here somewhere. There's nothing there. He did say he found another one somewhere else, I think. Um, but because he was on the same panel and he was already working on that bit, he didn't charge me any extra for it, which is good. Um, he would have talked to me a bit more outside, but there was loads of kids pestering because they was freaking out because it's a Supra. We got two step and all that lot. And I was really, really excited about it, but the car is now near enough pristine again. Hopefully I don't have to see him again anytime soon. But with the way people treat their cars and other people's cars, no doubt I will be. I will drop a link to his video in the uh, section below when he's got it all up and done. So you can see the process on how he does it, all the tools he uses, all that sort of goodness. It's actually quite satisfying to watch as well, especially when it's your car. He showed me a few clips in it. It excited me. So I'm going to call it a day and see you in the next one.